In this video, I'm going to show you three really great alternatives to HoneyBook um, if you're, for whatever reason, looking for something different or if you're not located in the U.S. or Canada and can't use HoneyBook. So let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to run successful creative businesses, especially in the wedding industry. Um, I know a lot of us really love HoneyBook. There's other platforms out there that you can use if for some reason you're looking for a change. If you do still want to explore HoneyBook and you're interested, I have a ton of other videos here on my channel comparing all these systems and giving you more of an insight into all their different features. So let's go ahead and dive in. And of course, I want to say that I have discount codes for every system that I'm going to mention in the description of this video, so make sure you use my link to get all of those benefits. Now real quick, why wouldn't you want to use HoneyBook? Uh, there's a couple reasons. First of all, if you're not in Canada or the US, you don't have access to HoneyBook, but you might have heard how great it is. So these other systems are going to give you that access but are available in more places. Um, second, it might be the price. I will say that you can get started right now with HoneyBook for only a dollar for your first six months. So hopefully price is an issue, but I'll show you all of those as well. And then third is just that you're looking for some specific feature that they don't offer or you don't love the interface or something like that. Uh, reasons that I would recommend staying with HoneyBook are if you really, if you use Gmail for your business email, uh, there's a couple features that are integrated with HoneyBook, the Chrome extension, which I have a video on, um, and also their bulk emailing that work really, really well if you have Gmail and aren't available in any of these other systems. So I would say that's kind of the number one thing that's like fully make or break for HoneyBook. Um, the other one is if you really want a system that also is its own payment processor, sometimes that can be a little bit cheaper. Uh, I find their rates to be really comparable with the other systems, but if you want to have that all in one and not create a separate account to integrate with, then HoneyBook is the only one of these systems that does that. Okay, so let's start. I think the most common alternative to HoneyBook is going to be Dubsado. Um, this is a really popular one, and you'll see that the interface is somewhat similar, but just, in my opinion, it's just like a little bit like trendier and kind of looks really <laughs> fun and nice on the eye. Uh, you'll have a very similar layout to HoneyBook where everything is really project-based. Um, you're gonna have those lead capture forms that you're familiar with. A lot of these features, if you wanna dive deeper into them, search them on my channel because I have longer videos on them. But I'm kind of assuming a level of familiarity with client management systems <laughs> at this point. Um, you're gonna have reporting capabilities. I personally like the ones in HoneyBook a tad better than Dubsado's just because they show you things like uh, information on lead sources, time to book, money made from different lead sources, and I think those are really helpful. In general, I don't think any of these systems uh, would be a great substitute for something like QuickBooks. Uh, Hello Bonsai might be the closest one, which I'll get to in a second, but their reporting features are fairly similar, similar between Dubsado and HoneyBook. Uh, one thing that Dubsado has that I will say kind of beats out HoneyBook is their workflow capabilities. So we go into these workflows and if we're going to add a workflow, let's just say test. I want to show you um, all of the different actions that they have because in HoneyBook you have a few options and it's pretty good, but in Dubsado you just have so many more options and also so many more triggers here. So I think if you're really valuing workflow and automation, then Dubsado is going to be the system for you. Otherwise, they do have like your scheduler, your forms, your packages, a lot of things that you'll see that are really, really similar in HoneyBook and Dubsado. Uh, one benefit to Dubsado is that it's available in more places. So as long as you can connect to uh, Stripe, Square, or PayPal, then you'll be able to use Dubsado. Dubsado is technically available everywhere. It's just the payment processing that might limit you, but Stripe, Square, and PayPal have very broad reach, so I'd be surprised if most of you who are watching are not uh, able to use one of those systems. The second system I want to show you is 17 Hats. Again, you have a pretty similar dashboard when it really comes down to it. A lot of these things are super similar, so you're going to have your projects, your contacts. Um, you can list these in different ways or view them in different ways depending on how you want them, which I think is good. Um, 17 Hats in my opinion, is really like a workhorse. It works really well. You're never gonna have errors. It's really, really 
solid, um, but it's not quite as customizable. You can add like project names and tags and they are expanding some of those features, but you don't have the ability to um, add quite as much like of your branding detail to the client portal and things like that that you might really like in HoneyBook and or Dubsado. And then you also aren't gonna be able to like customize the buckets of your projects. So for instance, in Dubsado or HoneyBook, you could look at something based on all these different buckets that it's in and you can customize those however you want. Uh, you're not gonna be able to do that in 17 Hat. There are workflow capabilities. You can do a to-do, an action, or you can pause. Um, so your workflows, you can do things like send an email, send a questionnaire. There's a lot of different things on here. I think technically more actions than HoneyBook, not quite as many as Dubsado. If you have started using HoneyBook smart files, that kind of ramped up their workflow capabilities and automations a little bit. Um, not quite as much as Dubsado, I would say. So I would kind of put 17 Hats and HoneyBook around the same level of workflow automations. 17 Hats has a lot of integrations that I love uh, that you might see that HoneyBook doesn't. So we've got Zoom, we've got QuickBooks, which of course HoneyBook does have, um, Zapier, InView, I think um, Funny Designer, Pro Select, and then Shoot Proof. So some of these are specific to photographers, but if any of these integrations are important to you, then you'll definitely wanna go with 17 Hats. Now a third option is Hello Bonsai, and this one is a little bit newer, not as many people are using it quite yet, but it is really, really nice. I think it's just beautiful. Um, I think it's really self-explanatory. It's a little bit less project-based. It's not to say that you can't look at stuff by project, but you can also look at things like all of your invoices at once or all of your contracts or all of your proposals at once. And I think that's really helpful. My favorite feature in Hello Bonsai, um, you might see because I have a ton of invoices created, um, is their invoicing. It's not that there's anything life-changing here on the main invoicing page. It's really easy to make invoices as you would expect. Um, but when you go into their invoice options, um, and settings for this invoice, that's where I think you have a lot of features that we don't see in some of these other systems. So we have a default late fee, that's so cool. We have a processing fee that you can charge to the clients, make sure that's legal in your area if you do that. Um, default tax, days until due, VAT, tax ID number, and then certain things like allowing tipping after it's paid, partial payments. Um, you can also lock your attachments until invoice is paid if you have some deliverables. You can hide units if you're working in a weird unit. <laughs> Um, or use three decimal values, like if you are charging for editing and it's 0 0.002 or 0.2 cents per word. Um, and then there's other payment method options you can show directly on the invoice. So a lot of these things um, are unique and would be helpful to very specific types of businesses. So if that applies to you, um, definitely look into Hello Bonsai. They also are really great for time tracking businesses. So the start timer is just up here, it's way better, more robust, more in your face than in any of the other systems. And then you can even like attach the timesheet onto your invoices. So if that's a big part of your business, if you're doing a lot of billable hours or billable time, then definitely look into Hello Bonsai. Another thing about Hello Bonsai that I love is their bookkeeping features are just a little bit more robust than some of the others. Um, so you get better reporting. They even have Bonsai Tax, which is an additional like $9.99 a month, and it will help you actually file your taxes, which is really, really cool. I'm mean, gonna give you a fourth HoneyBook alternative. I would say for sure, if you want something a little bit more simple or if integrations to a lot of other systems are important to you, or if price is a big issue with HoneyBook, even some of those you know deals that they're running, um, Client Joy is a really cool one. They're based in India and they are improving at and updating and it's just incredible how fast they are moving and how fast they are changing to add things that their audience wants. So I will say it's a little bit more simple now. It's not as project based. It's more of your traditional client management system where you have like your sales, your clients, your invoices, uh, but you're not having projects where you're sending questionnaires back and forth and design proofs and getting sign off on things and that kind of stuff. So those are things that you can do in some of these other systems um, that you're not necessarily going to find in client joy. But if you just want to 
manage your clients, manage your invoices, etc., then this is a really great system. And they even have a free forever plan. So basically forever you're locked in to all of these features that are all their basic features for free. They also integrate with over 8,000 systems. So if there's any other specific system that you use that we haven't shown in any of the other client management platforms, um, check out ClientJoy and see if they integrate because I think that could be a really great option if you're doing a lot of work in a different system and you want the information to pull back and forth from your client manager. Okay, lastly, I'm just gonna go over pricing really quick in case that's a huge concern for you. I think all of these systems are really worth it and I think the value they add to your business means that price shouldn't be too big of an issue, but if that's why you're here, um, HoneyBook is currently running uh, where you can get the first six months for a dollar each. So if you wanna try that out, uh, there's a link in my description, but here's their general pricing. They do have a lower plan usually when they're not running that dollar promotion. Um, that's $9 a month and it basically switches over to the unlimited monthly once you have made $10,000 worth of transactions on the platform. So once you get a little bit bigger, they switch you over to this unlimited monthly. Dubsado recently did the same thing. They have their plan with all of the features, including automated workflows, et cetera, that's $40 a month, basically the same as HoneyBook. Um, but they do have a starter plan that's $20 a month that I think includes everything you need to get started. And then once you have all of your forms and things set up, those are really the valuable part. And then you can start putting them into automated workflows and scheduling, doing public proposals and just all kinds of other things. So definitely check that out. Um, I think the starter plan is a really great place to start as, it, as the name implies. <laughs> 17 Hats has similar options. Um, this is about how many different documents you send per month. So I don't love that tier quite as much because I just feel like it's a little bit limiting. Um, but for $50 a month, you can get the unlimited documents and up to 20 lead capture forms. So I think that you know, you'll be able to do a lot of work on these, but once you get to higher volume and more transactions, you're gonna be wanting to upgrade to that higher level plan. And then Hello Bonsai, somewhat similar. Um, I definitely recommend doing that professional option if you need things like forms and questionnaires and workflow automations, but if you don't, their starter plan is $24 a month. And as a reminder, I have discount codes uh, for all of these systems that I'll put in the description of this video. This business package is kind of what I was talking about, about how Hello Bonsai really helps with your accounting and growing your team a little bit. So you have accountant access, you have multiple bank accounts that you can connect to this, which is great because if you accept money from any other source outside of your client management system, um, then you wanna get all of those expenses and transactions into that to have accurate accounting. So you can't do that in any of the other systems. So even though you can integrate them with QuickBooks, I would not recommend getting rid of QuickBooks with any other system, but if you wanna get rid of QuickBooks, definitely go with Bonsai, um, maybe this business plan or potentially the professional one and add on that additional tax thing for 10 extra dollars a month. So if accounting is your biggest feature, definitely recommend Bonsai. Um, if workflows are the biggest thing for you, Dubsado. I think 17 hats, the big thing here is that it's just so robust and kind of simple to use. And it just feels really solid. You're never gonna have any like glitches or refreshes or issues like you might have with some of the other systems every once in a while just because they are constantly updating and trying to stay more kind of modern and cool. And then HoneyBook is still a good option if you're already looking to leave. Let me know why and I can potentially recommend one of these other systems for you. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Let me know what questions I can answer in the comments or what other videos you'd like to see from all these different systems. Thanks everybody.